Hello, good evening, and welcome to Prague Chatter 777. We have moved onwards, and our light has gotten darker as we go into the darker, progressively darker territory of Van Gogh Graph Generator. Today we are talking about H2HE, who am the only one. Uh, a title that seems to get confused by lots of people I hear. Everyone say H2HE, who am the only one. But it, if you read this little description on the back cover there, it's uh, quite clearly talking about uh, chemistry, H for hydrogen, HE for helium. So I don't know why that's been so confused. Perhaps there's uh, some extra hidden meaning, as there are with lots of Hamill's lyrics. Um, interesting cover. Uh, this illustrates one of the songs on the album, Pioneers Over Sea. Uh, it's got a very 60s font at the bottom there, quite nice. Um, that 60s-ish feeling is still there at this point. Oh, but the, God, the, musically I'm talking. Back to the album cover, look at this gatefold. Look at this. Absolutely magnificent. Hands of the Creator. Ooh, fantastic. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, the 60s vibe is still kind of there on this album, but they are really finding their own at this point. Um, there's been a lineup change. The lineup change actually happened midway through the recording. Um, Nick Potter, the bass player, left. Uh, things were just getting too crazy for him as the band was gaining momentum. And uh, that changed the sound quite a bit because instead of, um, instead of replacing the bass player, Hugh Bent and the organist just played bass pedals, which um, really kind of created that Van der Graaff sound, the really, really dense organ with uh, organ pedals in the bottom and the bottom end and uh, Jackson saxophones wailing above, and Guy Evans kind of fusiony kind of drumming, with of course Hamill's epic voice and crazy lyrics on top. And uh, I think this is really the just the gestation of that sound is on this album. Um, really, really good stuff. Like I said, they're really finding their own here. Uh, opens with Killer. Uh, this is actually the first Van der Graaff Generator song that I ever heard. And it is the one that uh, led me to the rest of all of their collection and all of Peter Hamill's collection. So, um, don't listen to it as much now when I throw this album on. It's the opener and it's like, yeah, killer. Um, still not one of my favorite songs. Love the, love the voice on that, that whoa. I didn't do it any justice, obviously, but that is great little, great little part. It's got a big, crazy instrumental section in the middle with a ripping sax solo, courtesy of David Jackson. Really good stuff. Very high energy, kind of their first real balls out rock song, I guess. Could have been an answer to um, King Crimson, and you know, having like the verse and then the craziness and then you know, the verse repeat. Their answer to Schizoid Man. Uh, I believe this is 1970, so this is post Court of the Crimson King. Um, then second song, uh, House with No Door, kind of a piano based song. I'm not sure if that's piano. If that's Peter Hamill playing the piano, or if it's um, Hugh Banton. Uh, I think it's Hugh Banton playing that. Um, good song. Probably could be, could have been put onto a Hamill solo record. There's a very good chance of that. Um, but again, there was no Hamill solo at this point, so it goes on a Van der Graaff album. Um, yeah, it's a good song. Very dark lyrics about, uh, I guess, isolation and being alone and loneliness and meditation on those dark experiences. Um, pretty good song, not the best on the album. Then we get to The Emperor and His War Room. This is the first kind of, I guess you could call it the first epic of the album. Killer is a long song, but it feels more contained. Um, and yeah, again, it, isolation seems to be a theme. Um, going back to Killer, the song is about a fish that kills all the other fish and is subsequently quite lonely. Um, House with No Door, Meditation on Loneliness. Emperor in his war room is an emperor lonely in his war room as his country fights for his ine inevitably pointless cause. Um, good song, really good song. Very dynamic, um, kind of has the really slow, meandering, kind of creepy verses. And then that 60s-ness comes back for the middle section. Do do do, do 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 do. Great stuff, though. Uh, it's got a guitar solo uh, from Robert Fripp, speaking of King Crimson. Um, and a great solo it is. He was 
Fripp was still a young man fresh on the scene, so it's really cool to hear him guesting on an album at that point in his career. Um, yeah, Emperor's Worm, good, good track, good track. Uh, then we flip the vinyl over, and we get Lost. Now, I think this is the real hidden gem of this album. Doesn't get a lot of uh, talk these days. I think my light's changing. Mm, you'll be able to tell better than me. Um, but yeah, Lost, the hidden classic. Doesn't get as much conversation these days, but I think it's great. Um, I think it's better than After the Flood, um, which is the epic from the previous album. Um, it's a love song. Um, maybe the reason they don't play it as much anymore is that, uh, even though they are really good lyrics, I think um, they are from the perspective of a young man, a young man's first love, when you overreact and it gets silly and convoluted and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, great song. Very, very complex. There's lots of changes to it. It's got the big, it's got the madness section. Really cool. Um, lots of twists and turns, many of them very unexpected. Um, really dynamic, quiet middle section. Really, really good. Really good. Not really sure. There's, it's, part, it's split into two parts. You got one, Dance in Sand and Sea, and part two, Dance in Frost. I'm not really sure where they're split, but uh, because the themes kind of repeat throughout the whole song. It is a contained composition in all of its twists, turns, and madness. I love it. It's a great, a great track. And then we uh, come over to the final song of the album. This is the song that the album cover is based off, based off of. It is about an astronaut who is sent into space uh, faster than the speed of light, and he is transformed into a simultaneously existing and non-existing um, force of nature, or something along those lines. Uh, again, it deals with the theme of loneliness that is present on this album. Um, the astronaut is neither existing nor not existing, and he obviously can contact his friends or family. Um, the song, of course, is Pioneers Over Sea. I'm not sure if I mentioned the title, but uh, it is a great song. Um, it was played later in the 70s, much heavier. The version on here is quite subdued, actually. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a quieter, uh, quieter piece. There are, are kind of crazy sections with atonal lines and dissonant chords and that, but it's not quite as, like, it's not quite as totally insane as some of the other bits on this album, but I, I like the fact that it's kind of restrained. Um, and Hugh Banton's introduction, that shivers down the spine every time. Really, really good song. Um, kind of sad that the, the current trio doesn't play it at all. It would be it would be quite hard. It is a very complicated song. Um, again, it's another epic. It's, a, it's 11 minutes, something like that. But great lyrics, great song. Great album. This is really, this is this is an improvement from um, uh, least we can do is wave to each other. This is uh, the, those first three albums. It's a very steady rise to artistic excellence, um, and strangely enough, a decline in sales. If you looked at if, if the marketing people looked at their these figures, they'd probably be thinking law of diminishing returns. But the band just got better and better and better as they go along here. Um, so yeah, this is. Possibly the first classic. I'm, I'm hesi I hesitate to call it the a real classic because it's it's close. It has it has all like all the their sound was found on here. The Van der Graaff sound is on this record, but it's not the first gah gobsmackingly perfect album. But it's really good. Highly recommended if you're getting into Van der Graaff. This is de this is definitely essential. So stay tuned for. Pawn Hearts. We'll see you later.